Yes, what's good everybody? So quick ship vid, uh, we're gonna do some ins and outs. Uh, talk a bit about, I've been learning some French, so I'm now saying me, Melier. I ain't really been learning French, that's obviously a shit joke. And I'm still gonna say Meslier, so take it. Um, I said other week, and I just wanna reinforce this point, that I don't believe in dead rubber games, you know, and every so it's a free hit, that dick slap on other channels, they say, oh, it's a free hit this weekend. Like, I don't, I've never ever believed in that. Unless you, unless he's never played a competitive game of football in his whole life, I, I, there's no such thing. I understand there's a different um, level to play at, and if you get beat, you can sort of anticipate the fact that you might drop points, etc. But th this is the reason why I don't believe in dead rubbers. If we'd have treated them games like dead, I believe in like taking a chill pill and thinking, right, let's just go for it and like have it and let's. But that's what I love about Bielsa. It's like, no, you beat us on merit. You don't beat us because we've already been beaten on the way on bus. And now, because we don't believe in dead rubbers or Bielsa do not we're now looking at, like, genuinely looking at a, a potential Europe spot, which I think is unachievable just because you look at it and you look at the points and then you, I always work it out made where Leeds win every single game and they lose every single game above, do you know what I mean? Which obviously ain't going to happen. But still... My point stands. The fact we don't believe in dead rubbers proves that that's how you win fucking football matches. Yeah, so a little bit of chat about Meslier. He's the youngest Premier League goalkeeper to keep 10 clean sheets, which he got anyway, but he's obviously getting more and more as we go. And um, the other three, so he's in good fucking names here. <laughs> At 21 years old and 201 days was Worshiak Chesney, which don't even speak to me about what letters are silent in that. So Chesney. So Chesney. Uh, and then 21 years, 153 days is David De Gea, silent G. And then 21 years, 134 days is Joe Hart, which I can pronounce. And then it's Meslier on 21 years... 54 days so the bloke's a beast we spoke about him briefly yesterday everybody were commenting saying if you don't think Mesley is good your heads need to check and I could not agree more so to the ins and outs right I've been thinking about this left back's coming in because Alioski's going out centre mid's coming in because when that's the place where we most in need of cover where we can sort of do a Phillips roll cover for click cover for Dallas cover for whatever you know but there's been a few people saying, well, oh, there's a guy that gives me loads of shit saying that we need to get rid of loads and sign five players. I don't believe that. So I don't believe we'll get... I think if... A, if a, we, we apparently signed Rafinha, not by accident, but Orta knew about him and then it came up in a, a you know, in an opportunity to buy him. So Orta couldn't help himself, said to be else, I don't know this, this is not necessarily how the conversation went, but said to be else, I'm still going to say how the conversation went. Do you want him? Do you like the look of him? And Bielsa said yes. And then he came into training and he couldn't believe how good he was. So that was like a happy mistake. Well, I think that's what will happen with the third player. So there'll be a left left back, a centre mid, and then there'll be a creative player like that Kuzon Sky that we, we tried to get last year that fell through for some reason. Silent letters everywhere in his name as well. He was like a creative player, wasn't he? Like a Rodrigo type player. Now, the reason why I think we're not going to get a striker is because I think he will favour a winger, anybody that can play across that front line. I don't think we're going to, I don't think we're targeting anybody across the front line. I think we'll just pick someone up. I really do. So that's where I'm at with it. We won't, we're not looking for a replacement for Bamford. So my outs, I'm going to piss Chris Baldwin off here because he just says get rid of everybody. But I don't think like that and I don't think Bielsa thinks like that not because that's how I think <laughs> never mind right so I've tried to work it out so Alioski is going to go Hernandez I think is going to go and Hernandez is also a big earner because what you've got to, or not what you've got I'm not patronising you what I think you've got to think I was speaking to my mate and he's always like oh just get rid of Berardi get rid I don't think Berardi, I think Berardi might go his contract's up but I think he might come part of the club I think he might be become a coach or something I think he's apparently really good around the changing rooms and stuff and in the ground uh, around the squad rather so I think that's why he'll stay but that's not my point y you have to look at like 
reasons to get rid of players. And at the moment, none of the older players have any value. They don't have any money value. Like well, obviously, if we sold Raf, we would get a shitload of money. So that would make sense in that in that way. But in terms of like getting rid of Berardi or selling Cooper, there's just no point. They're not on particularly big wages, still on championship wages. They'd probably take a small increase to stay in and around the squad. Berardi would take his old contract, you would imagine. It's probably the most money he's going to get ever for, for the rest of his career. So I, just don't, I don't think there's any point getting rid of them. You get rid of the big earners. But then you've got to look at the contract. So Forshaw's a big earner, but and he's out in 2022. So you, I would think they were hoping to play him a few more games and then bomb him get get sort of show him out put him in uh in the market like put him out in window so alioski out hernandez out for sure could go costa's a big earner but he's got a contract till 2024 but people question costa and like question his um hunger and stuff which is cool whatever i don't want to talk about that now but I think even though he's on a longer contract, I don't think he'll want to just sit it out. I think he'll want to play. And if we definitely, if we get a creative player across that front line, Costa might move on. And people slag him off, but he will get snapped up, believe me. If you imagine you're a promoted side, he will get chopped up, snapped up without a shadow of a doubt for me. I know people give him shit, but he's got four or five goals or something this season. He's played a full year in Premiership, not played every game, granted. But if you were coming up, or a lower league, a lower team... I can't think of one off the top of my head, but, you know, like a Fulham or whatever, you know, I know they're going down, but whatever. Um, I think they'd take him. So I think he'll stay in Premiership, potentially. Kiko, everybody's saying Kiko's got to go, but my problem with that is, is he, he won't want to go. His contract's out in 2023. He's never going to get a bigger contract. He's probably not going to move to a club that isn't shit and get straight in the first-team lineup. And in the grand scheme of things, I know nobody likes Kiko anymore. I still like him just because of... I just do. You know, He's obviously got plenty of mistakes in him and Meslier, Silent S, is far better. But Kiko's got to be good around Meslier, Silent S, just for his experience, everything, whatever, whatever, whatever. But you'd have to spend big money on a player that's going to come in knowing he's going to sit on the bench and not overtake Meslier, Silent S. So that's a, that's a way up for me. Douglas, Barry Douglas is out of contract. He's obviously on loan to Blackburn, so he'll go. I hope, hopefully he gets a club. Okay, okay, okay. He's the same. He's he's out on loan, but he's his contract's up. Click will stay. So there's a few people saying get rid of Click, but the same people that say that we need better quality or need a bigger, stronger squad are the same people that are saying get rid of players. So we're not going to get rid of Click. There's no point. He's 30, he doesn't have any monetary value particularly. He's a brilliant squad player. He's been out of sorts for 12, 15 games now, I understand that. And last year was my favourite player by a long way. But click do not go for me. Um, yeah, so DePaul coming in, that's never been close. Uh, we just aren't signing him for me at all. So for me, in is a left back, in is a centre mid. In is anybody that plays across the front line that they're just going to snap up. I think we'll sign a few youth players, but I'm on about like senior players that are going to come straight into the side. I also think Rodrigo is going to come out flying. He's had a year at it. He's been unlucky with injuries. He's coming now. That'll be like a new signing. Cox barely played. That'll be like a new signing. Lorente has started to play, but up until 10 games ago, I was calling him sick note, didn't know who he was. So that's effectively a new signing. Raf's obviously been flying, but I think Raf will get better as well. So you, a year in now, you know we, we're going, we're going places, boys and girls. So I'm buzzing. So in, I'll do it again. No, out. Alioski out. Hernandez out. Forshaw out. Costa potentially out. Douglas out. Okay, now that's what I'm saying. I think Kiko. I think they'll try and edge Kiko out, and I can understand that. Um, but he might dig, dig his heels in a little bit. That's where I'm at. What do you reckon? Let me know in comments and that. Uh, shout out to my new member, Daz All Leeds, aren't we? Legend man for signing up. I proper appreciate it. Um, remember, 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 if you follow me on Instagram, um, hit me up with a message because robots are all over me and I don't know if you're a robot or not and you're like going to send me like a weird message saying, 
like, hi, I'm ready to beat your dick up whenever you're horny type of style. So not that I'm saying... I mean, you can send me that message if you want and then I'll... I'll suss out whether you're a robot or not, but I can I can I can sense the robots. I've got the senses for it. So I'm gonna stop waffling because that is probably as big a waffle as it goes. No drummer today. So the fuck's he at? Nice one. Take it easy everybody. Cheers for tuning in. Uh in a bit. Surprises why I asked.